Hi there guys, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout 3 Blind. It's episode 88 today and we have a new suit and we haven't even tried it on yet. So let's put that on and see how it looks like. Oh wow. It looks good. That's actually really flattering. Um, some of the other suits, like the business wear, whenever I've tried them on, the girl character, I didn't really like how they looked. They look better on the guys. They look so much better on the guys. But this one looks really good because it keeps the the whole look of the guy suit but just puts it on the girl. That's really good. I like it a lot. Can I actually wear this? Like, what are the stats? Okay, we have charisma and small guns. I don't need the small guns, but charisma's okay. Oh, this is way better because it has luck and radiation resistance, but it is also broken. I didn't even notice that. <laughs> I didn't even notice my clothes were broken. So I'm assuming that means, yeah, they cannot be put back on. That's okay. Um, because we can just look super dapper in the meantime. I'm sure his security guards will not mind at all. Hi, I totally didn't just kill your boss and take his clothes. Yes. Yes, I did. You're right. It is yes. Oh, there's a door I didn't go in yet. Cannot be picked. Requires a key. Okay, well, I, I took his key. I took Tenpenny's key. Shouldn't that open most stuff? Oh, well, I guess not. Okay, well, he's dead. And we need to solve this ghoul situation. And I actually hope that he doesn't need to be alive for us to solve this. Because hey there. that ship has sailed. This better be important. Um, yeah, it's about the ghouls. <laughs> uh, yeah, what can you tell me about Alistair Tenpenny? I wonder if he... Surely no one here has taken notice of what happened yet. He owns this building. We get our caps from him. And don't you forget it. Okay. Um, what's it like living... At Tenpenny Tower. Tenpenny is always on time with the money. And we get very comfortable digs with side benefits. Okay. How's the ghoul situation coming along? Yeah, this is what I really wanted to talk about. That damn Roy Phillips won't take no for an answer. Keeps showing up, looking for a handout. Heinous kind aren't wanted. End of story. He's not looking for if a I handout. A man, He's I willing to pay. Caps on him trying something violent soon. And that would make Tenpenny nervous. I don't like it when Tenpenny gets nervous. I don't think you need to worry about but his I nerves can't spare anymore. <laughs> the manpower to go hunt down Roy Phillips and his band of misfits, or I'd gladly end this thing once and for all. Well, I'm not gonna let that happen. Have you tried talking to them? I bet you can work something out. Tenpenny doesn't care how big their pile of bottle caps is. He won't let ghouls live here. Those ghouls need to give up and go bother someone else. Um. Yeah, you're being a bigot. You're all being bigots. Your bleeding heart is liable to get you in a lot of trouble one day. Look, kid. Eventually, all ghouls go zombie on your ass. It's only a matter of time. Oh, whatever. Kill them when you find them. It's a win-win. You put them out of their misery and save someone else from getting torn apart. You are so wrong. Okay, you want to know what actually happens, Mr. Gustavo? What actually happens when you befriend ghouls is that they become heroes and save the wasteland. That's what really happens. So you need to deal with it. <laughs> okay, um, I'm going to find... A nonviolent solution. Yeah, I am. That's a laugh. Roy Phillips can't be reasoned with. Trust me. But go ahead and try and talk some sense into him. It's your funeral. I don't know. He seems pretty hold nice. Up in the nearby metro tunnels. They're living with packs of feral ghouls. They've barred the main entrance. Go through the train yard. Okay. Good luck, kid. You're gonna need it. Okay. So I guess I still have to actually offer to help. Okay, I'm going to help you with this. Really? You? You're welcome to give it a try. But don't come crying to me when you get hurt. They've holed up in the nearby metro tunnels. 
They're living with packs of feral ghouls. Be careful. Roy seems damn close to turning zombie himself. Oh, whatever. I suppose you won't be doing this out of the kindness of your heart. Hmm? That's exactly why I'm doing How's it. How's 500 bottle caps sound? Oh. Payable upon termination. That's right. He thinks I'm going to kill them. ghoul, Roy Phillips, and all his followers. It's not happening, okay? Why should I even make him sweeten the offer? Because I'm not going to do it. But I guess we might as well. Maybe I'll still get the big reward whenever I find a peaceful solution. I hope I can find a peaceful solution. Okay. Yeah, spare more money for me, Gustavo, the ghoul hater. Well, maybe you're right. It was something I was going to have to do eventually anyway. How about another 200 caps? And here. You can take this rifle and ammo. Oh, yeah, right. But you better not screw this up. As if I'm going to use that Roy against Phillips them. Roy Phillips and his gang are somewhere in Warrington Station Metro Tunnels. They've barred the main entrance. Try going through the train yard. Okay. All right, bye. It's dark in those tunnels. Shoot first and ask questions later. Oh, whatever. You are so unpleasant, Gustavo. But that's okay. Uh -huh. Because he doesn't have to be pleasant. He just has to be tolerant whenever I fix the situation for him. Because I will. Oh, I will. <laughs> okay. Let's go to the train yard. I'm assuming that's to the west. I want to jump on this. I don't know why. Let me on. Yay, I did it! Woo! Okay. Oh, I can't actually. Hey, can you open Hi. it? Please? I'm on duty. Can't talk. Direct uh, your security concerns to Chief Gustavo directly. That actually worked. Wow. Okay. I wasn't actually expecting the intercom to be the way to open the gate, but okay. Sure. Whatever. And to the west is... Dun, 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 dun. Yep. Train yard. Okay. Let's get going. Let's hurry up while we still have some daylight to travel by. But yeah. I don't know, guys. Hopefully we can find... A solution that everyone will like. What's new? Whoa! Hi. Hello? Hi, you scared me. Oh, you're a raider. Oh, you're... you're dead. Oh, Sharon. Whoa, buddy. You are very fast. Thank you. I am a little confused by this raider. She was just sitting here... With a missile launcher, and she didn't attack us, and she has <laughs> blue hair. I was gonna say something meaner, but I probably shouldn't. Um, okay. Let us go to the train yard. It's a beautiful evening. Oh, and there's a glowing one. I see you over there. If I knew you were gonna be out here, I probably would have done something from stealth, but. That's all right. One more hit. I think Sharon's got it. No, he missed. Oh, no, he got it the second time. All right. That takes care of that. It does. Ooh, that's flickering over there. Do you see that? Nice! I like flickering objects. Oh, there's another one. There's another one. Can I hit it? I have barely a chance. Get him. Oh, come on. Yeah. He'll get easier to hit as he gets closer. Oh, you switched to the plasma. No, you didn't. You went right back to the shotgun. Well, that's okay. Use whatever you want. You're in charge of your own destiny, Sharon. Except you're kind of not. That's kind of the opposite of what you are. <laughs> I'm in charge of your destiny. So I hope you like being a hero. Because that is your... Um, that is what I've decided <laughs> that you are. Okay. Tunnels. I love it. Getting flashbacks to Moresti Station. Oh, there's one. Just for the record, I'm not following Gustavo's advice of shooting first and asking questions later. These are very obviously the bad ones. So I'm shooting them because they're very obviously the bad ones, okay? Okay, I just don't really need any of that. I'm just, I have so much pre-war money. I've just been stuffing 
things in the drawers. And my ah! Oh my gosh! Okay, that's fine. It was only really scary. I thought I was over it. I thought I was desensitized to the ghouls, but nope. <laughs> he got me so bad. Oh, yeah, okay, it's fine. It's good. I am okay. I didn't need that, but it's... I took it, so... Great. Okay. Alright. Not gonna be... Oh, okay. No, I'm not. I'm not gonna be scared of these again. Not again. I've fought enough of them to know what they're like, and it's okay. I'm going to be okay. It's gonna be great. But that one... Oh, he got me so... <laughs> oh, come on, I'm not going to go. I'm not going to do this. I'm not going to be scared of these things again. Because I was super scared of them. And then I was just so mad after the thing happened with Dad that I think I conquered my fear of them. We're not... But that one was just so shocking a minute ago. It's okay. We're fine. Look, I'm not even sneaking. I'm not even worried about it. Maybe I'm a little worried about it. I like that I can shoot straight through Sharon and just hit the bad one. Wow, this one's a toughie. Oh, Sharon, are you okay? I'm so sorry. You're my meat shield right now. But you have power armor, so... Yeah. This one looks stinky, too. Look at that. Ew. Ew, he's smelly. Oh, Sharon, don't step in him. Your boots will get smelly. I'm not going to let you walk into the house with those smelly boots. Okay. There's probably some more in here somewhere. Which way do we go? This way? Okay, great. There's one. And now there's not one. I hear them screaming and I hear them squishing. Come on, guys. I couldn't tell if it was me or Sharon that hit those. I think I hit the second one. Oh, there's gas in here. Okay, well, don't fire anything or it will explode. I feel like I'm notoriously bad at noticing the gas unless it's a really brightly lit area and it's very obviously there. You there. Ooh. Put your weapons away. Okay. Come over here. Okay. No funny business. Okay. Unless you want to get shot. Okay. I like you. You look cute with your little helmet and your little face. He has a sweet what are face. You doing here? It's not safe for your kind around here. His eyes are really pretty. Most ghouls have like messed up eyes. He has really pretty eyes. You have pretty eyes. Michael? Michael Masters? Okay, don't worry about me. I'm here to see Roy Phillips. Oh yeah? Is he expecting you? Well then, run along. It's not wise to keep Roy waiting. Has a bit of a temper, that one. You watch yourself. Oh, does he? I don't know. He seemed okay. I mean, he did tell me he wasn't in the mood to talk to me, but that's not too bad. Okay, I'm definitely not going to kill them. Not going to kill them. I'm definitely not going to tell them that I was hired to kill them, because I'm not going to kill them. So, what's it like being a ghoul? I wasn't always like this. I was a goddamn scientist. We were doing great things. Amazing things. Sure, sacrifices were required. Some people got hurt, but we were making real progress. But then those goddamn bombs dropped. Karma's a real bitch. You'd be wise to remember that. So this guy was pre-war, just like Carol, and then he got irradiated when the, when the bombs came, when the big happening happened. Okay. What are you guys doing in the metro tunnels? I've been stomping around with Roy and his gang of misfits. Roy's a no-nonsense, take-no-prisoners kind of guy. He heard about this tenpenny asshole, and now he's trying to get us in that tower. He's hatching some kind of plan to kill all those bigot bastards. Well, that sounds Believe okay. Not, I used to vacation there. Well, I wish you still could. Okay, bye. Good luck. You have such pretty eyes. I just want to tell you that. Maybe that'll make you feel good. Is this the way we go? Be careful. I think this is the way we go, but he's going that way. But I'm going to look over here. Is there anything in here? Nope. Okay. I guess I can just keep the flashlight on. Nice, Sharon! Oh, this is just an exit, isn't it? That's an exit. Okay, I should have trusted him. I should have gone with him. But that's okay. 
Do it again! Kick him! Well, or don't, you know. That's okay. You don't have to. It's just kind of fun. I, I, I get a, a, a real kick out of it when Sharon kicks things. Yeah, that was the worst joke you've heard so far. But it probably won't be the worst one you ever hear if you stick yes. around these parts, guys. Because this is dangerous territory for bad jokes and bad puns. Um. <laughs> what is in here? Hi! Is this... What is this? This is stealing, so there's probably people over here. Let's put away the weapon. Because we don't want to get in any fights. This looks neat. It's like a big old robot egg. Hi! Oh, hi! Roy? You want? You're Roy. I know. Hi there. Um. Why? I, okay. Um. I feel like he would not maybe want me to ask this if he has a bad temper. So let's just. Well, I don't know. I'm really curious. So <laughs> what's it like being a ghoul? Please don't get mad. You choose your next words really carefully. Because you're starting to piss me off. Okay, I'm so sorry. Um. Hmm. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> oh no, 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 no. <laughs> oh no. Oh no. Okay, no, 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 no. I'm really curious about what he would say, but we're not doing it. I can't. I cannot. I should have made a quick save. Uh. I'm sorry for offending you. Sorry, whatever you say, you pretentious, two-faced <laughs> asshole. Okay, no, really. <laughs> I mean, and I just—I don't care if you're a ghoul. It's okay. I'm—I'm. I'm, oh my gosh, this one. So you're ugly, big deal. Oh, that's funny. Gosh, I kind of want to say this one too, but I—I don't—I really don't want to get in a fight with him. Ugh. I'm gonna do it. You, you're, you're the one being prejudiced, not me. It's no big deal if you're ugly. Maybe I misjudged. Pardons. So, oh yeah, wow, that works. People treat us like shit. Ooh. But it just makes us stronger. Well, I'm gonna be nice Otherwise, to you. Otherwise, we ain't no different than anyone else that had the misfortune to live past infancy. Oh, okay. I like you, Roy. I'm glad that we're friends now. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna take that as us being friends. Okay. What are you doing in the metro tunnels? Biding our time, making plans, getting ready. Tenpenny and his pack of elitist wannabes can't keep us out of that tower forever. We've got rights, and we'll take them if they aren't given to us. Um, okay. Um, let's see. Well, I want to tell him this, but I also want to ask him why he wants into the tower, so let's go with that first. Ghouls aren't built for luxury and comfort, is that it? You think ghouls belong scurrying around in that dark, dank underbelly of the wasteland? No! You got a lot of nerve. That's not what I said at all. Oh my goodness, calm down. That's not what I meant. You're just, uh, you're just so easily offended, aren't you, Roy? Well, that's okay. I might be able to get you into the tower. I already got a plan. They think I'm a monster? I'll show them the real monsters. We'll unleash our feral brethren on them. All those bigoted sons of bitches will get torn apart. Trouble is getting past the damn subway access door. Okay, well, we can't do this. You see this? Some kind of escape door that leads from the Tenpenny basement to the subway tunnels. Yeah, I saw there it. must be some way to get that open. I'm sure there is. But look, we're not doing it that way. Oh, no. Oh, no, no. Let me try talking to Tenpenny. Maybe he wouldn't mind. Well, he's not around. Maybe I can talk to other people. I don't know. I think, okay, I I think Herbert would help us because he likes ghouls. He had a ghoul man servant like us, just like us, basically twins. So, okay, I'm going to I'm going to try talking to them. But by all means, Oh, I skipped a dialogue. But it won't work. Then we'll do it my way. Oh. You get that escape door in the Tenpenny basement open, and I'll unleash those ferals on them. I'm not going to go back and redo that. I'm just going to do like a freeze frame of the 
that dialogue. So if you wanted to know what it says, here you go, read it. Wah. Okay. Anyway, let's talk about Tenpenny now. What about it? Um, I think I can convince him to let you live there. You think so, do you? Give it a shot, kid. But you're dreaming. I'll wait to give you a shot, but then we're doing it my way. Okay, that's fair. Thank you. I'm gonna go now, Roy. Hurry. Okay, I will, because I don't want you unleashing the ferals in there. I mean, I think I think Herbert would protect people. He was a, an adventurer, right? Hi, Bessie yeah. Lynn. Your dress is cute. You look, you look nice. Oh, no, game. Do not do this to me. Oh, it's not responding. Why? Bessie was too cute. She crashed it. She crashed the game. Oh, she's got a little ponytail hello. and everything. Hi. Oh, hello. I'm Bessie Lynn. I I don't think you should be down here. Did you talk to Roy? I did. I hope you know what you're doing. You could get in a lot of trouble by coming around uninvited. Oh, don't worry about it. It's okay. It's nice to meet you. I wouldn't want to see anyone get hurt. You must be pretty tough to get past all the ferals. They tend to leave us alone. But someone like you... Am I babbling again? Roy tells me I shouldn't do that. You're not babbling. We're just having a wonderful conversation, Bessie. I love it. Okay. Uh, what's it like being a ghoul? Oh, well, it's not so bad, I guess. Once you get used to it. But it's not like before. I used to be pretty, you know. Everyone used to come around all the time. Aww. People stop wanting to be around you, though. When it starts to happen... When you start to change. I oh, mean. that's so sad. That's okay. I I still like you, Bessie. I still think you're cute. Okay, what are you guys doing in the metro tunnels? Roy is coming up with a plan to get us into that tower. Ten pennies. Says it's only a matter of time. Well, that's true. It He's is. strong like that. He never gives up. The kind of guy who makes things happen, Roy is. That's why the others follow him. Me, I just like the way he looks at me. Ooh. Makes me feel pretty again. Oh. <laughs> I'd go anywhere with him. Oh, she loves him. Oh, she loves him. That's very sweet. Okay, I have to go. Be good. I will. Oh, I will be good. I promise I'll be good. I'll be really good. What's over here? Oh, this is like their living spaces. Nice. Not sure what the baby carriage is about, because Carol told me ghouls can't have kids. Um, ooh. It's okay. It's just me kicking barrels. Nothing new happening around here. Well, I don't want to steal from them. And it's not like I need the unarmed thing, but they won't mind. It'll be fine. It's just a little bit of bad karma in exchange for me giving them a nice new forever home in the tower. And it's going to be great. So let's yeah. go. Hi. Let's go do it. I want to have another look around down here really quick, though, because we didn't go all the way down this. And I want to. Is that all of them? There's got to be more of them. Well, these are ferals down here. Oops. That was an accident. Okay. Yeah. I feel like there's got to be more than just the three of them. But where are their other friends? Okay. Well, we don't really need to keep firing, sweetheart, because they've all died. Ha ha No, they haven't. Nope, 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 nope. You're right. Oh, you were right, and I was wrong. You were right, and I was so wrong. I'm sorry for just running away and leaving you to deal with it. I'm so sorry. <laughs> I know. Oh, that was my fault. I'm so sorry, Jerry. Gosh. I'm the worst. I'm the worst sidekick. Oh. <laughs> Let's pretend it didn't happen. He knows it was an accident. I'm sure it's fine. Well, I don't want to go over there with that. So there was no reason to come down here. Great. That's good. And again, with the accidental thing. I keep doing F instead of R these days. It's, you know, it's okay. It's fine. I'm sure it's just because I um I want to look at the suit, you know. It's just such a heavy desire to look at the suit that I keep 
pressing F. <laughs> okay. Oh. This goes down. Down to where? Down to what? Oh, it's going down a lot. I don't really want to be this far down. Makes me feel a little unsafe. Just a little unsafe. What's in here? Hello? <gasps> no, that was stealing! Oh, I'm sorry. What did I even take? Never mind. Just kidding. I don't know what it was. But I am sorry, and I hope you didn't need it. Yeah, I know. Okay, this Good goes back over here. I didn't even know there was a door there. What's the big idea? I just walk where I want to, man. Okay. Okay. Okay, let's go back to the tower. I've got your back. Doc. Whoa! Need some help with this one. Nice, Sharon. Glad that's over. I don't know if I mentioned it. I think I did, but yeah, I gave Sharon some grenades. And he used one! That was really cool! Good job, buddy! You're not even wasting them or anything. You're just using them sometimes. That's really nice. Sharon's a smart guy. I just remembered that there's a door in, like, near the ghouls. The good ones. And I could have gone out that door instead of Coming all the way around back to the way I came in. But whatever, that's fine. Give me a second. Keep your panties on. How do you even know if I'm wearing never mind, we can't continue on this path. Okay, let's go in here. And I really hope we don't need Ten Penny to be alive. Who else can we talk to? Hi. Hi. I don't think you'll be any help. Oh look, another gnome. Wellness center. They have a wellness center? I guess it's more like a hospital. Yeah. Wellness center. It's nice. This place would be great if only it was full of ghouls instead of the people. <laughs> I think things will change for the better really soon. It's a clock. It's not even working. Look at that. That's the worst clock I've ever seen. You need to clean your clock. If I... If I if I cleaned it for him, I could be like, hey, I cleaned your clock, buddy. And hey. then Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. And then still no one would think I was funny. That's awkward. I feel like you're laying the wrong way in the bed. I feel like your head should be on that side. But whatever, you do you. See, that's more like how you're supposed to lay in a bed. There's probably nothing in here that I want, but I don't know. They're sleeping, so I might as well. Yeah, I I'm not gonna take anything. I already got the karma for it opening it. I like this pedestal of sugar bombs and whiskey. It looks like they had a little shrine to their love of sugar bombs and whiskey. Wow, you are actually passed out with like a bottle in your hand, like literally through your hand. So Clearly this place has a wellness center, but it doesn't have any AA meetings, does it? Welcome to Tenpenny Tower. Thank you, random resident. Where is the Gustav guy? Should I just wait until daytime? Irving? Oh, should I access his personal computer? I already broke into someone's safe for no reason, so rebuilding proposal. Oh, welcome, comrade. Oh, yeah, this is the guy. I heard about him from his wife. Okay. We excel at destroying the old world, and we excel at building a new one. Chairman Chang. Is it Chang or Ching? Whatever. It's Ching. I'm going to call it Ching. I guess it's not Chang, because it's not an A. What? Why am I having this discussion? Okay. 200 years ago, Chairman Ching led his armies to defeat the Decen decadent... The decadent rulers of this land, now his humble descendant comrade Ching, shall lead its noble people to rebuild a brighter land in its place. By uniting to work together, we can eradicate the twin dangers of lawlessness and disease. With unified soldiers, we can cleanse the land of beasts and highwaymen. With organized farmers, we can overcome starvation and poverty. Why, why is he doing this? Why is he organizing this? Shouldn't he just join the Brotherhood? When competing villages are destroyed, all must unite under the glorious leadership of Comrade Ching and the Tenpenny Commune. 
you're crazy. You are a madman. You're an absolute disaster of a person, but that's okay. Why? Why is this bathtub so dirty? Like every, like the toilets are so clean, but this bathtub is like in the middle of the room and it's got this huge disgusting mold in it. Someone needs to be fired. Oh, oh my goodness. I need that. Not the clipboard. I need this car. Why can I not have this? I need this. I need this. It's so much cooler than the other toy cars. You versus the guy she tells you not to worry about. I'm still taking this one. <laughs> oh, Sharon, you just scared me so bad. I came down here looking for Gustav and look, there's like a texture problem. This is not right. <laughs> this is not right. Oh, no. Not right. No, it's not right. Look, this is all fine. And then all of a sudden, disaster. All right. Chief Gustavo wins this one, guys, because I cannot find him, and I'm just gonna have to sit here and wait until he actually gets here. Is that- that's not him, is it? That's not him. That's a security guy. Hey there. Okay. That's a security guy. Okay. So he just wins. He wins this round. But we'll get him next time, and we're gonna see if he is willing to give us any info on getting the ghouls in here, because obviously Tenpenny isn't gonna help with that, so thank you guys as always, and I'll see you again soon. Bye!